Hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress, where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha, and in this video, we're going to see how you can edit your checkout field. So you have your checkout field by default on your WooCommerce store. So this consists of first name, your last name, company name, country, region, and some all the basic things. So uh, if you want to add any new things or remove any of this checkout field, you can use this plugin. And by this plugin, you can edit it rearrange it and also add additional values so let's see how this is done and before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress every now and then to get your website performance up and top we're now in the dashboard and we're going to install a plugin so the plugin's name is called the checkout field editor this is a very popular plugin used to edit the checkout fields and this already has 300,000 plus active installations. Once installed, we're going to activate it and we're going to go to the settings and let's see how this is done. So for reference, I'm going to open my uh, website as well. And here you can see my uh, cart. So yeah, and if you proceed to the checkout, you can see all the details, uh, all the default details that's here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to settings. So here you can see all the fields that are available. Yes, there's a first name, there's a last name, there's a company name, country, region, whatever is here, you can see it listed out here. So if you want to remove a setting, uh, which is I'm going to remove this billing company, I'm going to remove that. All you have to do is edit it and then uh, the enabled is ticked you, you just have to uh, remove that tick option so you have to untick it and you can save and close so uh, once that is done you can save the changes and you can see here that the uh, billing uh, the billing uh, company is removed right now i'm going to rearrange a few things as well i'm going to rearrange the country I'm going to rearrange the postcode so that the address comes first, then the postcode, then the city, then the state. All right. So that is done. And we have the state, country and everything. So uh, there is a billing phone. I'm going to add a new field, which is an alternate uh, phone. So what type the text is, I'm going to go to select the phone and I'm going to add alternate contact so here what you have to do is the name the name should be always start with a uh, small letter which is the lower case and the uh, space should be adjusted with the underscore underscore so label label is the name that is that should be displayed so i'm going to write alternate contact number also uh, if there is any placeholder you can add that as well uh, you can write it optional uh, or anything like that. You can add that. Then uh, there is uh, this required. Is it required or is it uh, just not very uh, necessary? You can take that as well. So in, uh, since my contact uh, is required, I'm going to save and close. So I, I didn't uh, actually did my uh, class validation. So validation is a phone. So a phone number is what uh, it should be. So yeah, that's uh, so that's done. So if I save it and change and you can see that the change will be uh, updated. So uh, there's my alternate contact number. It uh, is being added. So if you also have a additional shipping field, as you can see, I, uh, I have a, a shipping address. This is the billing address. There's a shipping address. You can just tick it as a ticket and also edit it, edit the shipping field from this option. So you, it's the same, same old procedure. You can add, remove, enable, disable, everything you can do. Then there is this additional field. As you can see here, there is an order notes. If you want to remove this, you can remove that. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to add a new feature, which is a uh, gift. So additional gift wrapping. So this is going to be uh, an external one. So you can uh, ticket, uh, you, you can, uh, this is totally optional. I'm just going to show this the example, gift wrapping. 
and I'm going to add a, a radio button since a radio button uh, you can also select or a text area you can choose whatever you want I'm going to choose a radio and this is done gift wrap and the default value uh, if there is a, any default value uh, it should be yes or no you can choose that uh, I'm going to choose zero here uh, also the option values whatever the values are you can add it if it's zero it's no I'm going to add one more it's one then it is yes so I'm going to save and change and save the changes so here in the checkout field when I update it you can see there is a gift wrap so uh, this is uh, right now required you can also choose for uh, for the optional one also so here you can see there is an optional button for that you can uh, you can just uh, edit it from here the required one and save close and save changes uh, so uh, upon doing that the required option uh, will be gone it will be shown as optional so this is a very simple plugin to edit the checkout field it doesn't do much it only do uh, edit the checkout field as the WooCommerce has a default checkout option and this is a very good uh, example uh, very good options for your uh, WooCommerce store and I would totally recommend this to use uh, as the for the aesthetics and also if you want any additional information in your order requests or anything like that this is a great plugin if you have any queries or questions regarding the WooCommerce plugins and WooCommerce WordPress anything you can just drop it down in the comment section we'll be happy to help and we'll see you in another video bye